Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real life American English. Today we're going to learn to avoid some common pronunciation mistakes. So let's get started. First, this is not correct. If you want to eat more or have a second portion, you can say, Can I have a second helping? Wait, did I say it out loud? Is she a mind reader? I think you're still hungry. Do you want a second helping? I cannot say a second helping. Helping. If I use the verb in the continuous form and say helping, then I can pronounce it helping. Example, I'm helping my friend today. Or I'm helping my friend today. If you're using the verb in the continuous form, you have two pronunciations, either helping or helping. Example, I'm helping my friend or I'm helping my friend. But this is not a verb. This is a noun, a second helping. It means a second portion of food. After you've finished your first plate, you go back and get a second plate of food. That's called a second helping. When helping is a noun, we have to pronounce it with a long E sound. Helping for the second syllable, the second vowel. Use the long E like green beans. Helping. A second helping. We cannot say a second helping. It's always pronounced a second helping. Let's hear some examples. Well, I suggested you not have that second helping of pasta. If you want a second helping, <clears throat> let me know, cause I got- Maybe those cubs didn't like me, but they sure like my cooking. So a second helping might just bring them around. No second helping. Made a second helping of chip beef on toast. Example, she finished her first plate and now she wants more. She wants a second helping. Or I can also say she wants seconds. They mean the same thing. Let's practice. Does she want a second helping? That's right, she wants a second helping. Does she want seconds? That's right, she wants seconds. She's still hungry. She wants more food. This is also not correct. Oh, really? Great. I'm happy you liked the dinner. The word is not pronounced dinner. It's pronounced dinner. We see the I before a double consonant. That tells us to pronounce the I with the short sound I, like this is. Again, d d dinner. Not dinner, but d dinner. Example, he's eating dinner. The word dinner can refer to the food that he's eating. He's eating dinner. But if I say he's eating steak, then I use the preposition for. He's eating steak for dinner. Pronunciation, for, for, for dinner. The word is not stressed. We pronounce it for. He's eating steak for dinner. Let's practice. Is he eating dinner right now? That's right, he's eating dinner. And what is he having for dinner? Is he having steak for dinner? That's right, he's having steak for dinner. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.